All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever places in the world you are watching me from. I remain my humble self, Mr. Matthias Efusa Ehaniri in Nigeria, based in Italy. Uh, this morning or this afternoon or this evening, wherever, from uh, as the case may be, wherever places in the world you are watching me, I want to discuss on a topic, Easter, the importance of the death of Christ and the resurrection of Christ. Now, I want us to understand that as a Christian, we, that, are, that Christ came, or the reason why Christ came to earth, it was just for a purpose to come and redeem man back to God. Now, through one man's sin came unto the world, which is the first Adam. Now, I have saw that the first Adam have made so many mistakes and they have made mistake by disobeying God or disappointing God. God had to cast the first, Ad, uh, the first Adam out of the garden, and because of this, that one it, it was that one that led us into sin, because it's sin. Uh, because since Adam have sin, now it exposed every mankind or the race of mankind into sin. So we became born of sin. So when God saw that because. Adam had brought sin to mankind and he was looking for how to redeem or restore Mark to himself. It became a, it became a problem. Now, the depth of a, that, was, that was what led to sacrificial lamb, to sacrifice bull, sacrifice horn, sacrifice goat, sacrifice uh, sheep. Now, this, the blood of goat cannot, cannot redeem man. The blood of the bulls cannot redeem man. The blood of the sheep cannot redeem man. Hence, it is man that have sinned. A man also ought to die to redeem man back to God. Now, that's because Adam have sinned against God, he gave Satan the room to not dwell with man. You understand? So God now said, okay, now I will see that my children are for sure the fortune of his glory. I need to redeem them back to myself. If you understand the story of Adam, and I need to redeem them back to myself. And he was not looking for who he will send. Then his son said here i am sent me now if we try to be me and you the only son we have we or the only child we have we cannot give it out for any lamp or any sacrifice even if is the son is too much a child is too much maybe you have a uh, two thousand arrow in your accounts and somebody said they need that two thousand arrow to redeem other people you will not give it out because you say uh, this is the only thing i have if i give this one i will i take up tomorrow but God saw that because he was the one that created us, he, because he knows that he lost us so much, he first showed the law by, he said, okay, now, how, how do I redeem this people? Since Christ said, yeah, I have sent me, he said, no problem. That was how Christ came to it. When he was coming to it, he already knew what he was coming to do, to come and die for the sins of mankind. So it is not like he came, maybe he didn't know what he came to do. Along the line, Christ has to come like a human. Because if he comes like a Messiah that everybody was thinking, if he fly down from heaven, people will not, that sacrifice, sacrifice he came to do, will not be accomplished. So he has to come through a woman, a virgin woman, Mary, that through, he, uh, through uh, Mary, the child has to be born on earth. Christ had to go through the normal procedures of life. He had to come to, he had to uh, see, uh, first of all, creep, seeds creep, uh, breastfeed, all those kind of things, although it was not born of the flesh. It was a spiritual child or a divine child that no man met with his father, uh, no man met with his mother before giving birth to him. It was a spiritual child given to God or by the Holy Spirit to Mary. Now, I have to understand this whole story. Christ came for the reason to come and die and redeem us back to God. Now, today you see Christians. When the time comes for Easter like this, you find out that Christian, it is time for them to not celebrate. Now, they don't understand the, the Easter is a time of sober reflection. A time that you will go back to the drawing board and look at what Christ did for you in the cross of Calvary. A time that you go back to the world and look at the finished work of the cross. Christ came to earth. He suffered all he, he, he naturally would not be able to suffer. That anybody could not be, would not be able to do to him. He laid his life as a lamb for every one of us. He gave himself to us for, for, for humiliation. 
He, the people he came to die for was even the people that crucified him. The people he came for, the people that he gave his life for, that said, I am coming to come and die for, my, for this people's sin, they were the people that killed him. Now, what are you giving in return? Some of us said that this is the period to go to a club, go to parties, drink, give uh, carry women here and there, give all a uh, baby, I don't know how to say it, many things. Now, this is not the essence of Easter. The, the death and resurrection of Christ gave us life and gave us hope. If not for the death of Christ, we would have still be suffering and wallowing in sin. We would have still be suffering and Satan would have been oppressing us the dates. Christ came to die for us that through him we may be saved. The death of Christ brought redemption. Now, as a Christian, it is a time that you have to go back to the drawing board and see the pains that he went through. He was bruised for your iniquity. He was chastised. The, the, the chastening of, 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 of his peace was of, of our peace was upon him. And he said, by his stripes we were made whole. By the beating and by the suffering he suffered for us, we were made whole. Through uh, Christ, we became the righteous of God. It was God, Christ that break, brought righteousness to us. It is not by our works, because if you think that you are righteous, you are a liar. It was through Christ we became the righteous of God. Now, I want to beg every one of us, this time we are, this month, this period, some of us went through the length period, the 40 days fasting, the 21 days fasting, the 40 days fasting, some of us went through it. Now, it is a time that we have to go back to the drawing board and say, oh, Christ, or oh, Jesus Christ, thank you for the things you've done for us. Thank you for redeeming us back to, to God. Thank you for this salvation you have brought to us. Because if not for Christ, we would have, would, have, would have been condemned by now. Devil does not have any good thing that he brings to the world. He came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Christ has come to give us life and give, it, give us more in abundance. What are you giving in return? He came that you and I may have life and have it more in abundance. He, he became poor that me and you will be rich. He took the sins of the world and put it upon himself. Because the Bible said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. The wages of the sin that we have committed, it was supposed to lead every one of us to death. But Christ came and took the death and put it upon his head. He took the sins of the whole world and put it upon himself. And he died that we may have this life eternal. What are you giving in return? He do not need your money. He do not need your gift. He do not need it. Because even in heaven, the streets of heaven are plated with goats. Silver and gold are for God. Everything you can think of, wealth, it is for God. It is God that gives strength for everyone to make wealth. What are you giving in return? Some people will say, eh, I know if you go to church, I'm not going to church today because I'm going to work. Look, if God takes your life, you cannot go to work. It is God that gives you strength to make, make words or to go to work. I want to beg you, if you are not a Christian or if you don't go to church, if you don't serve this God, if you don't worship him for all he has done for you, this is the time that you have to go back to the drawing board. Some of us, we are Christian when we are in Africa. Coming to Europe, we turn every, we change to something else. We don't go to church any longer. We don't worship God. The Bible said, do not forsake the assemblies of believers. What are you giving in return? All Christ did for me is to worship him. Is to serve him. Now that you are saved, you have to save others. Preach the good news and tell people about Christ. Let people know what he has done for us. Let people know the finished work on the, of the cross. What he has done for us on the cross of Calvary. Tell people the finished work of the cross of, of Jesus. He died that you and I may have life. Please, I beg you. I beg you. This season is a time that we have to go back to the drawing board. It's a time of sober reflection that we should reflect on what Christ came to suffer for us. Through him, we are not happy. We are not living a righteous life. I want to beg you, beloved brothers and sisters, it was Christ that gave you the life you are living now. God wanted us to condemn everybody, but Christ said, no, my father, don't condemn them. I am here. My blood, I have spared it for them. Through the blood of Jesus, we are not safe. I want to beg every one of us, 
to go back to the drawing board. Serve your God in the day of your youth. Don't think you will get to old age before you now serve God. Serve your God in the days of your youth. Please, the Bible said, the young men shall see vision, the old men shall dream dream. Our daughter shall prophesy. What are you doing? Are you fulfilling your days on earth? According to what God has said. Was appointed unto the mad death, after death judgment. So this is the time for you to do that which God has sent you to earth to do. Worship your God in the days of your youth. And serve your God because nobody knows what tomorrow shall become. Today, you have life. You don't know what tomorrow will become. Once appointed unto a mad death after death judgment. Let God see that the essence of him created you. Or let Jesus see but the death he has died for you. Has given you opportunity to save, save him and also tell others. I beg you. I beseech you, brethren, to worship this God. He is faithful. He is faithful. Even when we kill him, he still say, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. He still say, Father, have mercy on them. Please, forgiveness is also important. Forgive people that have offended you and save your God always. Remember what God has done for us. His resurrection brought life and gave us grace. His resurrection gave us peace. Today we are enjoying. Save him. Worship him and give love to other people. Serve him and love other people. And as you do this, you are not, you are not faking it. You are doing it in the real way. Loving people in the right way. God will bless you. God will richly bless you. And your family will be blessed. This season will bring peace to you. This season will bring love to you. This season will bring kindness to you. May God bless you as you have heard my word. I remain your brother, your brother, Mr. Matthias Efosa. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. Stay blessed.